today I am sharing some of my top fantasy reads for fall. Whether you're looking for something dark and atmospheric or something cozy and magical, I've got you covered. So grab your favourite fall drink, snuggle up and let's dive right into it. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any bookish content. Do it right now. It's, 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 it's there somewhere. But this video is not me trying to make you subscribe because, well, you should be, but <laughs> it is fantasy fall reads time. So let's dive right in with the first book which is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. If you haven't read this one yet, fall is the perfect time to start it. This epic fantasy follows the story of Quote, a legendary figure who narrates his own life story full of magic, mystery and heartbreak. The world building is rich and immersive, making you feel like you're right there with Quote in the dimly lit inns or the magical university. And the pacing is perfect for long cozy reading sessions by the fire. It's a bit of a slow burn but trust me it is worth the time. And next we have Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. This one is for those of you who love a darker, spookier vibe in your fall reads. Set in the secretive world of Yale's mysterious societies, this book blends dark academia with paranormal elements. The protagonist, Alex Stern, has a troubled past and a unique ability to see ghosts, making her the perfect candidate to navigate the sinister underbelly of these ancient institutions. The creepy atmosphere coupled with Liba Dugo's storytelling makes this a perfect read for chilly autumn nights. Now if you are in the mood for something lighter but still a magical then The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune is a must read. This heartwarming story about Linus Baker, a man who inspects magical orphanages for the government. When he is sent to a very unusual orphanage, he encounters children with extraordinary abilities and a mysterious caretaker. The book feels like a warm hug. It's whimsical, charming, and has a strong message about acceptance and finding family in the most unexpected places. Perfect for reading with a cup of tea on a rainy day. Now, for those of you with a love for classic high fantasy, you cannot go wrong with The Lord of the Rings. So, in the three parts, The Fellowship of the Rings, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien. Fall is the perfect time to revisit Middle-earth, or if you've never been, it's a great time to start your journey. The story of Frodo and the Fellowship as they embark on a perilous journey to destroy the One Ring is a legendary. The rich descriptions of the Shire, Rivendell and the forests of Middle-earth are so vivid they feel like quintessential autumn settings. Plus the themes of friendship, courage and perseverance resonates deeply with the fall season. Also, if you are into audiobooks, narrated by Andy Serkis who plays Gollum in the movies, you cannot go wrong. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And finally we have The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. This is a standalone epic fantasy that offers a fresh take on dragon lore, political intrigue and powerful female characters. The book weaves together multiple perspectives from across a divided world where an ancient dragon threatens to rise again. Intricate world building and complex characters make this a deeply immersive read. It's a longer book but the kind of story you'll get lost in as the days grow shorter and the nights grow longer. And there you have it! Some top fantasy reads for this 
fall season. Whether you are into epic quests, dark mysteries or cozy magical worlds, there's something here to get you in the autumn spirit. So have you read any of these books? Are you curious to pick any of these books up? Do you think I've missed a book on this little short list? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit a little thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And you know, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care, oh, bye bye.